In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to record your screen using CapCut. To use this feature, we'll need to use the web version of CapCut and not the desktop version. Now, if you're using the desktop version, stick till the end for some tips. We'll start from CapCut's web version, then select Create New, and then 16 by 9. From inside the project, we're going to select Record, and then Record Entire Screen. From here, we can decide what we want to record, either the entire screen or a specific window. In this example, I'm going to select my text editor. Now let's make sure we select the right microphone and then if we want to include it, also our webcam. And then when we are ready, we can click record. After the countdown, we can move back to our application and then change it. Hello, everyone. And then when we are finished, we can go back to CapCut and then click stop. We can now see a preview of our recording. If we are satisfied, we can click save and exit Otherwise, if we want to try it again, we can click start over. In this case, I'm going to click save and exit. Now we can edit our clip within the CapCut editor. When we are satisfied, we can click export and then download. Select the right resolution. In this case, 700p is enough for me and then click export. After a few seconds, a download will start with our exported video. If you want to bring this recording into the desktop version of CapCut, you can just import the downloaded video in your timeline and then you're good to go. If you're planning to use CapCut to create educational content like tutorials and video courses, let me tell you, I don't think it's the best tool for the job. If you want to create educational content, my favorite tool is called Barumi. With Barumi, you can decide the structure of your video in the built-in editor, which is very similar to Notion and Google Docs. Then you can record every scene separately, retrying as many times as you want. This is very convenient because it allows you to split the recording into smaller chunks, which are much easier to manage. And finally, you can edit the video in the built-in editor. Here you can trim the clips, select nice looking layouts, remove the noise and much more. And finally, you can export your video, ready to be published to your platform of choice. You can get access to Barumi by visiting barumi.com.